Hey everybody, we're playing some PAL World. Go ahead and do this. We're on our Nightwing. We're next to the Eternal Pirate Tower. So, last video we kind of just got here and we're kind of exploring. So I went all the way up the mountain to get here. This is one of the boss battles. Probably a little too much for me, but it's nice not... Ooh, that's... Yo, look at that lava. That lava looks kind of sick. So yeah, we've got a lot of area to explore around here. But it's a little hot and dangerous. And most things are probably a little over-leveled for me. I also completely teleported to the wrong place. I'm meant to go to my base. But yeah, so that's going to be a lot of fun in the near future. Kind of exploring all of that. Let's go ahead and go to bed. Oh, man. Oh, is someone on the server with me? Okay, looks like someone's on the server with me, so it is what it is, though. Let's go ahead and place a few more incubators. When I'm exploring, I pick up a lot more eggs than I would think. I'm coming back with, like, you know, a handful of eggs. And, you know, since these some of these incubation times are a solid, like, 24 to 48 hours... Um, you know, they get left in there for a long time. So I do need to build a couple more incubators as we go. All right, we're back up at the mountain. It is now daytime. Here's one of the things that is important in this area. It is these sulfur rocks. Sulfur is needed for gunpowder, which of course you need gunpowder for ammunition. Now, you can find sulfur kind of all over the world, but by far the number one place in the entirety of Pal World map is this location right next to the boss tower because it there's like six or seven rocks in a row right next to each other right next to the teleporter so you can even grab all of them be like mega encumbered but just waddle your way back like two centimeters down to the teleporter and go back to your base sulfur is I'm gonna just say it one of those things you don't want to build a base around right you need ore, you need coal, even less important, but you need ore. And then you have wood and stone pits, you don't need to... So really, the one base that you is absolutely necessary is ore. Because also ores you can use for money and stuff too, but... Yeah, something like sulfur, you don't need a base for. Because essentially the reason you want the base is that's something to teleport to. But the teleporter is right next to the sulfur. So, this one just... Teleport here, grab it, and go back. There's no need for a larger base for this, at least. Mount Obsidian. Here we go, here we go. So we clear out all of the rocks. The rocks are cleared. We can do a little bit of exploration around here. So, here's another tip for over here. Bring a boar. I, dude, I don't, I don't know how I didn't know that the boar could do this, but look... I was going to sneeze. <laughs> Bless me. Bro, get a boar and a saddle. They break through the rock. Like, you don't even need to use your own pickaxe. Just use the boar. I don't know how I didn't know it. Like, I didn't know this up until now. Which is, like, nuts. Because this is by far the easiest way to get sulfur. With things like ore at a main base, you're better off having pals do it. You don't need to use a boar. But here, since we're not building a base, we don't have worker pals... The boar is by far the easiest, and I think, maybe I'm making stuff up, but these sulfur rocks are, like, softer than ore. You tend to break them faster. They, they give you more per hit, right? So, with a boar, usually you can just hit them once or twice, and they just, like, pop right open, and that's kind of it. So, it's another little tip. Use a boar. Boars are sick, specifically for this. Alright. Another Reptyro. Let's go ahead and grab it. We already caught one of these, but I need more. These things are pretty good at furnacing and mining and stuff. Alright, Lunaris, can you do it again like you did last time? Yeah, when we when we got the first one, it didn't like put up much of Oh! Yo, are you good, Lunaris? Yeah. He... Oh, we got hit hard. But we're chilling. And are you good? One more hit and then I think we'll be good. Yeah, alright. Here we go. Time to start chucking 
balls. Ooh. Got it down. Dude, y'all saw that rock, right? He was molding a rock. Ready to chuck it at my face. What, psych? Little fire, little fire. Come on, buddy. Stay in the ball for me. I mean, it's 10%. I don't know. I haven't been counting how many balls we've been throwing, but... We have we, we, we threw more than ten, bro. Come on. Rock. See, he's forming that rock to chuck at my forehead. Hello. Nice. Diet lover. It's a good good trait. Not the best. I love me the. What's it? Hmm. All right. Back on base. I think it's time for a little reconstruction here. It's gonna get rid of these red berries for now. Let's try to put them in like a little bit of a better location here. Cause we need a little bit more space. Okay. Alright, I'll have the homies build those up for me. And we can just do a little bit of manual ore farming. So of course we can let the pal homies do it. But you know, if we have the ore out, we can just come over here and blast them up a couple times. Yeah, this, this boar is good. It, honestly, you don't really need a pickaxe in this game. If you have a, you know, if you if you can spare the boar slot in your party, if you ever need ore, you just use this bad boy, and he, he smashes them up pretty good. So I guess we'll just do a little bit of ore farming here. Live, on camera. Just to show you guys the grind still hap- the grind is real. Alright, I think it might be time to run up. Getting a little low here. Yeet. First ball, bro. We're so nasty with it. First ball. Sick. Gotta love Mammal Rest. Alright, what else can we do? What else can we do? I feel like that merchant scared me a little bit. Oh, man. We haven't visited this statue very often. Do we have enough effigies to do the thing? Looks like we do. I think Is it only one time, though? Yeah, only one time. Okay. Well, then that's all we could do for now. Let's get out of here. There's got to be a couple of new things around this area. There's got to be at least one or two. Ooh, that guy got messed up. One bullet straight to the dome. Spark it. How about you? Do you want to come home with me? 100% catch? Alright. I'll see you at home, bud. Artisan? Okay, that's a good stat. I don't think I'll ever use Spark it for anything, because... There's yeah. better electrical pals later, but... Let's try to get this other mammal rest. Get us some high-quality pal oil while we're at it. Bink. No problem. Ooh, don't kill it, don't kill it. Let's go ahead and put it on... Non-attackative, please. I need calm. Come on, bro. Don't play with my heart like this, man. Don't play with my heart like this. Mm. Come on, man. You're like a non-boss mammal wrist. Why are you giving me so much trouble here? There we go. 
All right. Another mammal rest in the bag. What is going on over here? I think I can make that jump. You guys think I can make this jump? Psych. <laughs> I should have probably gotten a running start, but. Hmm. Should we check out this little sh mine shaft? We haven't been in here yet. All right, let's go and make a torch. It is a little dark in there. It's a little dark. So we're definitely going to need a torch. There should be a pal in here, right? Whenever I see a hole, it's always to a pal. No. What? Is that, the, is that a marketeer? Why does he have so many tortured equipment around him? I, I, I trade any kind of pal. Do you have anything cool? That's cool. Talia? Alright, well... What can I sell? I don't know if I really should sell anything, though. Hmm. Anything cool to sell? Serpents. Yeah, I wanna... If I sell anything, it just... It needs to be something that's... Like a higher price, but it's also easy to catch. I don't want to get rid of a bunch of things that are hard to catch. Because what if I need it for like breeding or something? I don't want to get rid of it. Hmm. Okay. Well, I don't think I should sell anything just now. So let's go ahead and just get out of here. And I guess we can just keep exploring. Kind of doing our own thing for now. But, yeah, hopefully King Paka, maybe? Should we head down towards the King Paka? Yeah, you know, it could be a lot of fun. Do a couple of little mini bosses, try to catch them. I mean, you two are coming with me. I'm just gonna giga, giga ball you off rip. No damage. There we go. Level up to 30. Is that a Kremis? Yeah. Venus? You're coming with me, bud. Yeah, it's the main way to level up, so I should probably get used to just chucking balls at these smaller things, because I don't have ten of a lot of them. I left because I'm on a server, I wanted to be away from my friends so I could start my own base, and my friends kind of started in this initial area. So since I moved away from this initial area so quickly, I tended to not get a lot of these early game pals. Like, the Kativas, I probably only got, like, one or two. There's no reason for me to get more right now, you know? Alright, King Paka. 23? This shouldn't really be a problem. Especially with this bad boy. He's absolutely slaying. That's what I'm talking about right there. Like, he's absolutely slaying in these spells. He's really strong for, like, actually no reason. He's currently, like, I think probably my favorite pal that I have. Isaac, I don't know why he's so much stronger than the others, but he just is. Like, look at look at the damage. The damage is crazy. Right, let's command not to attack. Shoot him in the head a few times. Yeah, he's only he's twenty three, so we can even do our own damage. All right, thirty five percent. And I'll take a thirty five percent. Yoink! King Pack is mine. It, it has some decent things on it. Not the best, but pretty good. Dino, you wanna come home with me too? Love me some good dinos. Vixie. Funny enough, my sister has a friend named Vixie. When when we when I first brought her onto the game, she thought it was the funniest thing ever. Another Kremis. Yeah. Bink. Oh, you blocked it? Yeah. That's illegal. Yeah. You can't do that. 
Ooh. Ooh, you're lucky that my bow wasn't reloaded. Can I weave it? No. No, I can't. Well, I tried my best. Can't say I didn't try. Nightwing. Let's do some more exploring. Oh, effigy right. Is that a shiny? Oh, that's a shiny. What is it? I can't tell from here. What is it? Please be something cool. Is that an alpaca? I think that is an alpaca. Yo, shiny alpaca. Okay. Let's try not to kill it. I, I don't think... You know, these shinies have a lot more health, so it's harder to kill them. But still, these things are kind of low in levels, so... Yo, that's so sick, though! Shiny Malpaca, let's go, dude. Oh! Nope! Wrong pal. Did I kill your buddy? I killed your buddy. Nope. Look how tall this thing is, man. That is a huge Malpaca. Dude, I can't wait to get, like, a shiny one. Like, imagine, like, a really big one that's, like, already big. Imagine a shiny version. Alright, it's egg time. Let's see what we can get some out of some of these eggs. B-guard. You know, anything that contributes to that 10 catch challenge, I'm very cool with. Sweet. I'll have to skip one. One egg is not ready just yet. Box sparks. Okay, we still need two of those. No problem, no problem. Another fox spark. Now we just need one of those. Caprity. Just need one more of those. We got some. Ooh, we got some huge rocky eggs coming up. Y'all know what that means. It means we got some Anubises coming up. You love to see it. Least punks. Least punk Ignises. Some Van Worms. There we go. 31. Two level ups in one video, bro. We're crazy with it. We're crazy. Again, although a lot of these, like, aren't really that good. As long as they contribute to our challenges, they give us a good amount of XP. You know, what more can you ask for? Okay, so one, this this huge rocky egg. It's ready. Look at this, boys. Oh, you love to see it. Anubis is absolutely disgusting. Here we go. Let's take a look at our bad boy. Look at this. Anubis. So yeah, again, we got that from breeding the Aurora and the Van Worm. And you get this bad boy. Look at this. Yeah, look, dude, look at that. It's Artisan, Dilever. Look, it's Mining 3, Handiwork 4. This is by far the best pal to help you with crafting. Like, and it's not even close. So yeah, we we bred for it. And... There you go. There's probably a couple of easier ways to breed for it. I've seen a couple, like, on TikTok. But the one that I used was the Aurora and the Van Worm. But yeah, it, it is also a pretty big hatch. Like, it took 48 hours for mine. So I had to sit here for a little while for that to happen, but all worth it. And we're definitely going to start breeding more of these Anubises too. Yeah, especially on something like here as like a mining base. We don't have access to the really, really, really good miners like the, the Blazamut or whatever. So... By far, like, the second tier best is Anubises. And there's a couple of things near the volcano area that we should probably grab that are also pretty good. But for now, we'll stick with the Anubises and what we got. And the Bushi. Okay. Let's go down over here. And we can kind of keep exploring, catching some more pals. Is there anything even over here? Alright, let's go. Oh, man, it's going to be a little bit of a thing, so I'm just going to lay back down a little bit. Ooh. 
Why are we so tired, bro? It's like 2 p.m. Oh, man. Well, might as well throw a couple of balls at some of the smaller things. I, like, these original balls are not really useful for anything, honestly. I almost just, like, want to waste them on these small creatures. I should probably hit him with my crossbow one or two times, but... Oh, well. Alright, let's head over to the Mosanda Lux. And... See what we can do. Maybe try to catch it this time. That would be kind of neat. Excuse me. Kativa, do you want to come home with me? Bink. Bink. Give me your ammo. Sadly, they only drop coarse ammo, but... Oh, good enough for me. Alright, Mosanda Lux. I'm here to capture you. Are you ready? Yo. I kind of like that mohawk, by the way. I love how they were like, Yeah, th this is the electric version of the forest one. What represents electricity more than a, than a mohawk? Let's give him an electric mohawk. Also, I love that move because it's so it doesn't hit. It like never hits. Especially if you're sitting far away. It's like the easiest one to dodge. Also, I don't know what's with these Mosandas. Like both of them, they love floating for some reason. Whenever you hit them, they just start Yeah, look. It's like they're like anti-gravity on the moon or something. But it's nice because during that time they don't they don't attack. So it's basically just free iframes where we're invincible because they, you know, can't, <laughs> by default can't do anything. Alright, 18%. 50%. Yeah, that's mine. Yoink. Nice. Alright. Finally caught that. We didn't kill it this time. Alright, Direwolf. Ooh, take me back home. Man, there's, there's got to be a better mount than this, though. I've told you guys that Direwolf is like... By far one of my favorite pals currently. But I have been hearing there's much better pals for this utility. So maybe I'll have to take a look around. Try to get a, a better riding pal. As much as I do love my Darrowl. I know there's probably a couple of really good things out there. Back at the base. Back at the base. Look at Anubis going. Look at the Dig Toys going. Dig Toys is crazy. Yeah. I think at the stage that we're at, I think Dig Toys is probably the best currently. But the Nubuses sure do help. Hip Lantern. Oh, that'd be really good for caves, wouldn't it? Alright, let's get the average feed bag so we can get the lamp. I mean, the feed bag's cool too, but really that lamp and the large feed bag. You know what? Screw it. Let's just get all of them. We won't really use a lot of these. Like, is the shing single shot sphere launcher? Why would I use that? I feel like I, I'm cool with just chucking the ball myself, you know. But here's the big one. We can finally, since we went past 29, we can get the handgun, along with the ammo, and get the fine bed. We can finally start with the metal structures, although we'll never really use them because I'm not getting raided, bro. You know, and. Stone doesn't burn down, and that's essentially what I really need. So really, the important part was just getting the handgun, getting the ammo, and then getting the spring and stuff. Wait, what do we need? Let's go ahead and make some more cloth. Actually, no, let's, let's go ahead and get the lantern real quick. I think the lantern is going to be really useful when we start going inside of caves to try to fight some, you know, some cool pals. I've been having to make the torch every time we do it. I think it'd be useful if we just finally made this hip lantern. So we just don't have to worry about it. So if you guys don't know what it does, anytime you enter a cave, it just like automatically lights up. Kind of like a light pet. Uh, it doesn't... It, there's no like equipment spot for it. It just shows up on your body, which is also pretty cool that it like doesn't take up any form of a slot. Alright, back to our tech. Anything else? Anything else that we're missing that would be like pretty cool... Okay, I don't think so. A newbie. Go ahead. Let me pick you up. Let me see if I can chuck him somewhere. Like, can I chuck him? Here, make gunpowder. 
No, not Sphere Wolf Bench. I need him to do the gunpowder so I can get some more ammo for the pistol. Come on, bud. You know you wanna. You know you wanna. Okay. Maybe he doesn't wanna. But I'm gonna keep trying it a few times. Yeah, the game's still a little buggy. A little buggy, but... Man, it's such a wonderful game. I could care less. Alright. He's doing it. Guess he's doing it. What a wonderful day. Um, I guess we'll just... Uh, just cancel this. Screw it. That's a lot of sulfur. Let's just make a chest. Just just for the sake of not having to walk two meters in the other direction, let's just go ahead and make a chest. Bing bonk. Boom. And bing bong. There we go. Alright. Cool. He'll be making us some gunpowder over there. Let's... Make large feed bag. Oh, it's going to take a minute. Okay, one second, guys. There we go. Large feed bag. Almost done. Almost done. There we go. So now we can store more food, although it doesn't really matter because we only, we're just going to use berries anyway. I want a strictly berry only diet right now. Ugh, excuse me. Man, where's this pistol at? I want to make the pistol. I see the gunpowder. I see the ammo. Where's this pistol at? Right, let's make some handgun ammo for now, though. Make some spheres, too. But, yeah. Right? Yeah. Right there. Handgun. Yes. We have everything we need. We have the high-quality pal oil and everything. Alright, that's going to take a minute to make, though. Can I... Anubis, are you... Let me try to get Anubis to do it for me. Because I'm not standing here for five minutes just to make the gun. Come on, big guy. Use those big old palms of yours to make this gun for me. It's like the pinnacle of this game. Come on, man. Okay. Fine. <laughs> I guess I'll do it myself. Here we go. Alright. Handgun. It is done. Yoink. Look at this bad boy. No more makeshift. No more duct tape. We've got the big gun now. Just need a little bit of ammo for it. And we'll be good. Yeah. Honestly, man, the past two episodes, we've been making some absolute strides. Getting an Anubis and then getting this in the handgun. Like, the, the game is starting now. We've got actually a decently powerful thing we can shoot things with. We have a really good worker at the base. Things are gonna... Things are getting crazy now, especially if we breed more Anubises. We'll be able to get a lot of ore, which can get us a lot of money, a lot of equipment, a lot of ammo. So, we're moving in the right direction here, which is nice. Got some more gunpowder going. What else here? You know what? To speed this up, why don't we build a second high-quality workbench right next to it? So we can have two people working on this. I think that's going to be a really good idea. Let's go ahead and make some handgun ammo here while the other one does gunpowder. Anubis, do you mind? I, I love his enthusiasm for stone. But I really need him to be working on this. Yeah, I hope in the, in the coming future they add like almost like a menu where you can set a pal to a certain station. And, man, I see a lot of people complaining about it, and it honestly frustrates me. Like, guys, the game just came out. Have some patience. But I do agree in the sense that it would be cool. But, bro, stop complaining. Some of y'all on Reddit are a bunch of crybabies, bro. Like, a minor inconvenience. You're, like, you're sh shaking. Like, calm down, guys. We're fine. Just have fun, all right? Not that big of a deal. I love this view too. Yeah, I've been. I'm telling you guys, I've been having so much fun with this game. I haven't had this much fun with a game in a very long time. And then when people instantly start complaining, it's like, oh man, we can't have anything nice. Someone will 100% find a way to complain about it. And like, 
I should say constructive criticism is obviously okay, right? But yeah, the people that are like, oh, unplayable, and like try to put this game down, like, uh, oh, this Pokemon's more polished or something. Come on, bro. You know what I, you know what I say to that? Tell me in Pokemon where you can build a hot spring for your pal to sit in. Just saying, bro. Just saying. Our problem is I don't even think I have room to put it down. The top of this mountain's a little narrow, which kind of sucks. Huh. Maybe over here? Yeah, it's actually not a bad spot. Let's just go ahead and put it here. I think this sounds good.